Coach Jeremy Hirschkorn here at Jet Movement Academy. Uh, today we're going to be talking about relative motion. Okay? So when we move parts of our body, um, we're, we're always looking at very specific types of movement here at the Movement Academy. Um, so we're, we're, we want to know, okay, something is moving, but moving relative to what? Okay? So a uh, good example, so for my arm, okay? I can create flexion, Okay? and extension at my elbow joint, right? So I'm bringing my hand closer to my head, okay? I'm moving it farther away, okay? This would be a completely different motion, okay? I'm moving my hand, okay, closer to my midline, okay? But I'm moving it relative to my shoulder joint rather than my elbow joint. So relative motion is important to understand. This happens a lot with, um, like if you look at a side view, of a curl, okay, if I can keep my core, my spine neutral and create range of motion at my elbow, okay, good things are happening there, but I can also feel like I'm creating a lot more movement, but I'm really moving at my hip joint or my spine, okay, and that is where a lot of problems arise, when we're trying to focus on a certain muscle group, uh, but we're moving our body at a different place, and kind of tricking ourselves um, into thinking we're moving what we want. This happens a lot of times with push-ups um, where we're lowering our head and we're getting a big range of motion out of our neck rather than at our shoulders and elbows. Okay? So relative motion is a huge thing that we're always trying to uh, be very specific about um, when assessing movement um, and giving movement exercises. Um, because if you have an issue somewhere in your body, and we give you an exercise to work on that specific issue, but the movement is relative to a different point of your body, then you might not be addressing the problem, okay? So not only will you not solve the problem, but you might create another overworking problem somewhere else, okay? So it's extremely important when you're looking at an exercise and you're choosing um, you know, what to do for a given goal or a, to solve a problem, you need to look at what, where specifically in my body is that movement supposed to occur? And then how do I develop that control so that I do move only at that one, one spot? Um, I'm gonna be addressing this in another video on uh, spinal flexion and extension as well. So keep that in mind when you're out there exercising and that is something that we do, uh, that we really focus on here at Jet Movement Academy. Come in.